Hi everyone, I'm Kiralis and welcome back to episode 11 of our City Skylines 2 playthrough. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. And as always, if you do, do smash the like button like you live dependent on it and leave some feedback in the comment section. And I'm just outside Fatty Bite over here. And you know what? I've noticed a thing. And that is something you guys mentioned. You just wait and see. And by the way, I'm still like, as mentioned in the previous episode, I'm still recovering from COVID. Look at that, a heart. So my energy levels are maybe a little bit titty low. Those hearts over here. Like last time I saw this, I, I was like, hey, it's like an Irish swingers party or something. But no, you guys told me that this is actually just Valentine's Day because it's February. So they're just coming to Fatty Bite to have their little like, uh, I don't know, dates and such. And I think we had, okay, it's a little bit framing the city because of all the people outside the train station and all the people on the streets. Wasn't there a fatty bite here somewhere about? It is a fatty bite. No, that is not a fatty bite. But there was a fatty bite somewhere with hearts. Where was that? Or maybe that has closed down or something. But yeah, so it's not an Irish swingers party. It is just Valentine's Day. But anyhow, previous episode, we did things over in the harbor region. And look at this. Just look how beautiful this looks. Like... Don't, don't mind the glitchiness all over the place. Uh, game is still not optimized and fully done, done, I guess. But just the views over here. Loving it. And also, in the previous episode, we've added trams into the industrial zone. And... Uh, no, 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 no. People dying, people dying. Okay, doesn't matter. And I'm, I'm really liking them. I think they look phenomenal. And this is something you guys told me about, like, Kiralis. You can just put the little thingy majiggy through the roundabout instead of having it going all the way around and blocking the traffic and i was like yeah i'm kind of an idiot i even mentioned that it's possible having like separate tracks but yeah i didn't really take that into consideration so you know what i'm gonna do over here can i revert back on the change hmm i think i can right let me see here would that interfere with the tracks and can you have track like tram tracks on on a highway i don't know i don't think you can but that looks amazing. Well, kind of does, right? Let me just see here. I mean, it's, 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 it, it, oh yeah, it is amazing. Like it might cause issues here with it when the trams go over. And also I did tweak all the streets to have like this little like median, I think you call it, right? But it's used by the trams. So they have like pretty much free way all the way through, through, throughout the city. And also, and I've seen questions about uh, why I'm playing without, without a fee, uh, the HUD. And that is pretty much like when I'm showcasing stuff, like usually I light, light up stuff and it's super annoying. So having it like disabled or just hide it, it doesn't really highlight anything and it just looks much, much, much better. Now when I'm thinking of it, by the way, sorry, I'm all over the place straight off. But would that be a possibility? You might be, but what, why, Kiralis? What, what, what? Can I do... Can I do those? I can. And and bushes on them? Oh, okay, something is overlapping here, so that kind of sucks a little bit. But but that would be, like, if I maybe delete that, that might actually be a thing. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to look into this, because I think having those all over the place with the bushes and trees in the middle might not be, like, super suiting for, an, like, an industrial scenario. But but do we care? I don't think I don't think we should. I guess grass goes first, not on that because there's a stop, and then the bushes go in. Ha ha! What you guys think about that? Might be yeah, might be like for an industrial zone, might not be the way to go. But I think once they grow up, I, I, then again, I mean it's rather seeing bushes than all the chimneys uh, and just pooping out smoke and such, right? Maybe not over here, but but definitely in the distance over there. That is something we could do all over the place. So yeah, I did tweak the, the whole layout. So we have those like medians for trams pretty much all the way the routes. And uh, yeah, there's still a little bit of congestions here and there, but it's very time dependent. As I said in the previous episode, like I've noticed, I've been, I've been paying attention to those guys. Like when they start work and end work, every single time there's congestions. And I even added... We have a new off-ramp over here and on-ramp to the highway, which leads goes all the way to, to the city. 
So they can go off and on over here. And I also added one down here in the harbor region, which might be a temporary one, but uh, people, people use it and they seem to love it. At least it will ease the traffic a little bit for us. I mean, it's not bad. It goes through the forest, below the highway, and over here. Okay, those guys, they do suck a little bit because they keep blocking the traffic. Just like real life, I guess. So now we have, let me just see here. We have one, two, three, four off ramps in the industrial district, which is still not enough, I guess, but one day, one day we won't have any congestions whatsoever. What is happening over here? Like, why is this a traffic jam? Who's causing this traffic jam? There is no traffic jam. Well, slow traffic, yes, but traffic jam? Okay, it disappeared. So, what is the plan for today's episode? There is no plan. Yes, there is a little bit of a plan. Because what I want to do is get rid of as many people. Also, okay, okay. Slideshow. Slideshow. No, okay, we're fine. I want to get rid of as many people from the streets as possible. And I'm not going to kill them. Don't, don't worry. It's not gonna, we're gonna, not going to nuke them or anything. But we might implement a subway system in the city to see if that will help us. Like, like uh, just a teeny bit at least. Because I love the game. But seeing all those people makes my frames go ooh, to about 10. I got 10 frames per second now. And not only that, this over here is causing so much issues. Look, just look at the amount of people. Like, don't get me wrong, I love seeing them, but there's just, there's just too many of them. So hopefully a subway system will ease this, this zombie apocalypse for us a little bit. It, it, I mean, it's just crazy. It's like people, they keep waiting on their turn to enter the sidewalks because it's just too crowded. I'm not sure like a subway will help because obviously people are coming back and going to work, well I guess coming back from work, but uh, but let's just leave that for a moment, we will get into the subway system very 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 soon, and also look at this, I've added some bushes and trees over here, and this, I don't know, like I wanted to have this this forest thing going all over here and kind of forming like a natural key, and I think we kind of nailed it, okay, we might need to remove that, add something else over here, maybe a nuclear power plant, uh, how many points is that by the way? <laughs> it would be such a stupid idea to have. That's eight. Yeah, that's not gonna work for us. I mean, just imagine a dam collapsing, a nuclear power plant here. That's a disaster waiting to happen, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just zone this out uh, quickly because we need to add some more industries because the man is through the roof. Is everything zoned out? I guess I'm fairly happy with this. And by the way, how is the how is the whole like radio mass situation down here? Fairly terrible. It would be kind of cool having one of those over here. But then again, don't, don't, don't want to destroy the industry. But, 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 but just imagine, okay, maybe here. Oh, you know what? How big is this? The telecom tower? Hmm. <laughs> okay. And let me just see here. How expensive four points? We're almost at the next stage, which means we're going to receive more points. Uh, and what is that stage? That is Metropolis. That's going to be 15 more development points. So, okay, in, I'm going to unlock it. And the thing is, like, if we get one of those, do we still need the small ones all over the place? Like, I mean, it's not like I'm worried about upkeep costs, because uh, currently we are making bank. Like, the income, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, 4.4 million in the surplus for being Keralis and placing roads and bushes all over the place. Yeah, that is not too shabby. But let's see here. So let's grab ourselves this big boy and let's just read. So, so one kilometers versus five. 15k gigabytes per second versus what was that? 3k gigabytes per second. And how about with the upgrades though? Uh, we do have this upgrade, which is adding another 1500 gigabytes per second. And that is just range by 250 meters, so that is not brilliant, I guess. I mean, why not? Just let's add a few of those. Let's add one over here somewhere about, and let's add one in the, uh, in the city. Or maybe two, even. Maybe somewhere... I don't want to destroy stuff, but he, okay, there's a little bit of forest which can be destroyed. There we go, perfect! 
And how does this... Okay, let's just jump down on ground level. Everything needs to be seen up close and personal, okay? Look at that, look at that. Huge wires. Holy smokes. That is not bad. However, does it come with any upgrades? Nope, that is pretty much it. And let's see, what does that do to the range of here? Oh, wow. That, okay, that is... That is kind of crazy. Still have a little bit of demand over here in this, but I, I don't want to put down a big one, which costs quite quite a bit more in upkeep. But it would look kind of cool having. Shall we? Oh, no. Even better. Could we squeeze in the bronze? That's... Well, that's not a possible thing. But that, <laughs> why would that be a thing over here? That's too big, too big. We even have the medieval castle, which will be situated somewhere up in the mountain in a, like, a, like a European village in the future. We also need to get the water park done and all those beautiful landmarks which we have unlocked. Well, not really unlocked. It was like a part of a pre-water bonus, I guess. But no, let's, let's get one of those guys. Like, why not? It's not bad. Okay, might not be ideal, but it's definitely not bad. And let's just replace that path. See, once again, we are just derping about in this game. And I have uh, no regrets. No regrets at all. Can I, by the way, do a path from here to there without damaging that path? Well, it's not brilliant, but it will work. Kind of wish there had some more upgrades to those guys, but... Ooh, helicopter, watch out! Shoof, close call. And let's add one in the city as well. Then we just need some mail mailboxes and such. And we should be good to go. Should we add one over here somewhere? Maybe just here. Perfect. Done it. Okay, that's kind of like... Ugh, not ideal. Okay, we just move it a teeny bit to this side. There we go. Get some more. Oh, how is that situation? Yeah, not that great. Still have tons of homeless people. And I know you guys mentioned that it is mainly due to that we don't have enough housing. The demand is for the roof. Uh, it is just the mayor, which is all over the place, doing random bits and bobs and not thinking about the poor homeless people within the city of Kuralesville. We have coverage all over the place. Look how green it is. Okay, so we should not be worrying about this for quite some time to come. However, the mailbox situation is a little bit grim over in the harbor region, so let's put down a few extra of those guys. I think that is the way, because I think like all the companies, they will be dropping off mail in the mailboxes instead of the mail trucks picking them up at each and single company. But I'm not sure how that is how it works, but that's what I envisioned it works, or how it works, at least. Okay, so now everybody should be in range for that, right? Oh, you know what I've been thinking about? Oh, Subway Skirales, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've seen a lot of YouTubers doing this. A lot of beautiful content creators doing stuff like this. Okay, we might not have it here, so don't go bananas. Don't, don't, don't be upset. But they've been doing like a little like marina scenarios using these little paths. Not sure if we're gonna keep it over here, but it might look kind of cool having. Yes, it might be a very tight squeeze for the boats coming in. But then again, not really, because look at, look at the size of those bad boys. So if you have like a tiny sailing boat, this should leave you with plenty of space. I mean, just look at this. So you park your car and into the marina you go. Okay, please envision. Imagine there's boats. It, it's a thing at least. And you know what I miss? I miss, there was, there was, a, there was a mod in, uh, in CS1 called like prop line tool, I think it was called. Uh, you pretty much just pick like a prop and uh, you just draw a line with that prop. So let me know. It might be a thing that we will have those in, in different places. Maybe even have like a, like a big marina somewhere about with just having those without the boats, I guess. Wasn't there like a marina thingy in CS1 which you added? Maybe that was a DLC of some type. I don't know. But anyhow, anyhow, back into the city. Do we have a situation? No, there are still hearts. There was hearts. We did it. Now we got the points. Do we need to spend the points on anything? 
There's things I want to have. I want to have the post storing facility. I'm going to unlock it. I think it's going to be very beneficial for us because the only post service we have at this stage is this one where... <gasps> Time? Midnight. Don't worry about those guys. They're just heading home from work. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. It is this one. And 27 or 30 vehicles being in use. Zzz, okay, mail service availability. It's not great. So I think we might, we might actually need... Or do we? Yeah, we might need, because I don't think this is going to be enough for us. The question is, does this... <sighs> it's huge. That's what she said. Why is everything... I say this every episode. Why is everything so oversized? But I'm not sure that this guy collects posts as well. Uh, shall we poop it down? Yes. Now, this is a thing of beauty. It's not going to be here. It's definitely not going to be here. We're going to move it, maybe even closer to the, like, the industrial zone. But it does look quite quite nice. The only thing is that I don't think that this collects any mail within the city. So processes and stores both local and intercity mail. Mail going to and coming from outside the city is carried by high capacity post trucks, which helps reduce mail related traffic on the roads. So yeah, no, we still would need one of those uh, smaller versions that the post office is somewhere about in the city. But that's gonna happen. However, it does come with upgrades. Please be some on site upgrades nope that pretty much just adds to the humongous footprint of the whole thing okay so that is what that is a mail storage extension we also have automated sorting in-house thingy and then we have this which is extra loading lamps extra loading ramps i'm gonna keep it here for this episode but i think we're gonna move it maybe even i've been looking at this area i have no idea what to have here we're gonna have something here if you guys got any suggestions, please do let me know in the comment section, all right? But uh, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, I see dead people. They're waiting for hearses. The hearses are being stuck somewhere in traffic. Or maybe somewhere over here in the zombie apocalypse, which has eased mainly because of the time. Oh, okay. This is something you guys have been requesting. See, now I'm fluffing about all over the place again. But you've been requesting night scenarios. So let's maybe just switch day and night visuals. I love this. Okay, it's not fully night. But yeah. That is something they've done amazingly well in CS2. Like the After Dark DLC was quite cool in CS1 as well, but I I like this much better. Especially like having all the like buildings. Like you, you can almost see stuff in the inside. Pretend, okay? But there, there's a little bit of discs and, and whatnot. Man, I wish I could play like this. Because it does look amazing. Especially like having the like the 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 wambulances with the lights and the popo and such. The downside is like when I upload this to YouTube, the, the compression. YouTube is going to do is going to destroy the quality of the video and it's going to be terrible but it does look amazing wow yeah they, they've done this fantastic let me just see distance wise there's so many lights even like in the little suburbs just look at this every single household you kind of see on this side as well we, you don't as I said but 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 I'm such a nerd. I'm nerding about again. Yes, I am. But look at this. I just wish they can fix the, 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 the game. Optimize it a little bit better. Then it would be such a huge win. Like, especially like without having any mods. Because CS1, modded CS1, definitely looks better than this. It does. But being like a vanilla game, as this is, it looks amazing. But very unoptimized. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Subway. Let me just go back to, to, the, to the day scenario and we will figure it out. Zzz, no, I'm not a bee. I'm just trying to figure out. Should we go underground or overground? I think that having the overground would look much better like in, in the outskirts, like far, far away. And then just having the underground going within this whole city itself. Okay, this, this is going to be terrible. This will be terrible. You guys will hate me for my layout, but let's give this a go. I'm not really sure how like we don't I don't have we don't have a subway where I live. So I don't know how, how it's supposed to be, but let's add one over here, which is just outside the train station. We're gonna try to get rid of the zombie apocalypse, alright? 
And then as thinking of it, should we maybe... Should we loop it or just have straight lines? I guess straight lines... Straight straight, 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 straight... straight lines, I guess, are the most common one, right? But not in my city. Not on my watch. So let's have... Let's have one over here. That's kind of close to the previous one. Doesn't matter at all. And have maybe one over here. Because this is going to be expanded. There's going to be skyscrapers all over the place over here. And let's do the same down here. So we will have one over here. And then one over here. So that is one, two, three, four. It is hard, so hard to see them. Can I? Can I? Okay, so if I go like this, I'm able to see them. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then, no and then, and then, no and then. This is the collage. No, this is the high school. So let's maybe have... Can I even turn that? So that goes over here. So we would be turning it over here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. And then we go... So that's going to be going maybe into the university area. Stopping about here. So it's kind of like midway between a train station and a uni, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. But, but it's a thing. It's a thing. And then that would be going... Let me see here. So where is that? That one is over here. We could be looping about over here. And let's maybe squeeze in one here. Oh, yes, Kira, let's do it. Okay, so we have... Let's go here again. What is that? Who, who, who done this over here? Olive Street. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be like one line, right? But then I... I like, my brain is thinking, loop them. Make it unrealistic. And I think I'm going to do that. I will do that. So I want to have... What is that? That is just a little, like, um, elementary school. But do they deserve... Of course they do. So one over here. We might have one just here in the little suburbs. One over here next to, like, the sporting arenas and all the, the shoppies. And then this would be going around here, maybe stopping just outside a little parking lot over here. Uh, and hopefully this will be able to turn and go into that. So that will going to be... <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Hey, it's, this is testing purposes, okay? We will have... This is going to be expanded upon. So one here, maybe just one here outside the Des Elementary School. It's going to be a lot of young kids using Subway back and forth to school. And I guess we could have one over here as well in the far end. But that is something we can add in, in the future. So let's not worry about that. Uh, currently we are about 20 meters underground. Is that the... Okay, so... Okay, so 10. No bueno, right? That is... I like that feature. I love that feature. How it kind of gives you a little tunnel thingy. In CS1. That, like doing custom stuff like this. Woof! That took forever. Or maybe they kind of changed that. I don't know. So 20 is below ground. So my whole logic behind this is, is this. There's no logic behind this. There, there's none. That was not straight, Kiralis. Nobody saw that. And that would be going to... The, okay, maybe let's see here. Maybe even having... Let's add one somewhere over here as well like yeah 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 that will be perfect then that is going to be looping about here going up here that could be hmm um yeah is this awkward it might be a little bit awkward right but but, but it's my awkward this is not an easy feat to defeat that's not a saying well it is now Maybe if I do this and then do a little bend. Just a tiny bend. Not realistic. And that would be going straight into that. Those guys connect. That goes into that guy. Perfect. Maybe you should have one. No, 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 no. They can walk, right? Like, honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing now. But, but hopefully we can make this work. So that is almost one of the loops. And it's not fruity. 
para loop it is. Okay, so that would go in here and then maybe... Like, technically, we could have one more station here. Th the more the better, I guess, right? And then we can have one over here. That's a <laughs> maid storing facility grounds. Yeah, I know, we just popped it down. The most awkward thing is, like, doing stuff like this and talking, it's pretty much, you just talk, you just keep talking to yourself. And it's so, so, so strange. So as thinking of it, I want to have, there will be one loop which goes all the way here and around here, right? So that would be one loop. Then we will have one loop which goes on this all the way around here and down here and into that. Because I want to have like the, the, this over here is going to be the main station. So I want to have every single train pretty much going through it. And also what we could do is like, let me see, can, can that be a thing? Because we could go, okay, thinking out loud. So one loop goes around here, one loop goes around here. And then we can have, if this would go like so, then it could go down here past those stations, like a little figure eights. And go round and round and round. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Now we also need this. The subway yard. And I, I, for testing purposes, I'm just going to put it down somewhere about. Um, let me see, Jojo. Can I squeeze that in here? Well, well I can, I guess. But not with the, with the expansion bits and bobs. Uh, but now it is here. And let me see. Maybe I can fit it over here. Extra tracks. Okay, so that is pretty much just like an in-house thingy. And, uh... Okay, that kind of sucks. Okay, so I can't really do this guy. But I don't want to do that guy. Do that guy, Kralz. I don't want to do that guy. Hmm. Okay, and then one ways. So this one needs to go down to 20 meters at least. So let's to take it out a little bit. And then we just drop it to 20. And maybe take it in underneath the highway and that's going to be going in another loop maybe all the way around let's do the same and we will do the same on this side so we're going to go to about here and then just this will be tweaked i, I can feel it in my fingers i can feel my toes there we go perfect not really but it will be perfect one day and then, I guess we just need to connect those up. But those are one way. How does that work? Don't we have... Because the trains do have this one. Which goes both ways, pretty much. Or, well, kind of dependent. Okay. So I guess one way it is. Was that a perfect bend? It... Maybe. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. And then we need to take it out on this side, which means more bends. More bends. And we'll see if this bandature will be great or not. And that kind of works, kind of works. So far, so good. That goes into here. We bend it out. Perfect. And then uno mas. Uno mas, please. Uno mas bend. And the bend. Mm. Wop, wop, wop. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got not the perfect bends, but these bends. We'll have to do it for the moment. Uh, and then we just turn them around this way. Boom, 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 and bada beam, bada boom, boom, boom. Why is that no? No, 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 no. Okay, that should be. I'm not sure that's going to be working. <laughs> to to be honest, but hopefully it will. And now what we do with this? We drop it. Like it's hot. We drop it and go 20 meters underground. 20 meters underground and we... We just connected to the other ones. For testing purposes, okay? And we've done it! Okay, okay, okay. okay. So the whole idea here is, okay? Listen to me. Listen. It's going to be like this. We're going to have one loop like this. All the way around. We're going to have one loop which goes all the way around over here. And then we have a figure eight, which goes zoom, 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 and back in, and zoom, 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 and back in, and zoom, 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 and back in. Yes, that's it. I don't care if it's realistic or not. If this, oh, wow, this is a tricky view to look at. Can I unclick them all? Um, let me just see here. Do I need to click every single one of those guys? To, okay, that's kind of like inconvenient. I've never done this. 
but let me see if i just go subway stops so that is okay now we see where they are at least super inconvenient uh, but let's do a line this will start who does still hearts the Irish swinging is still happening at fatty bites um let me just go down here it is a little bit framey because everybody's going to work okay it is 10 a.m so it's mad over here oh 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 yeah it's super glitchy and then this guy would go to that guy can i connect those guys okay so that is going to be going like this it will go to that it will go to this which is there's not nothing here yet but there will be in the future it goes into that guy it goes up here like that those guys connect over here it goes across boom it drops down to i think to that to this <laughs> it's like the strangest metro system ever <laughs> the only thing is that every single train will be dropping off people here so that's kind of like a main connection point as well it's not only the the, the train station here complete routes <gasps> we, we, we've done it we've done one of them and now what i want to do is i want to see does this work okay it's a green one i think that was a green line it's a little bit of a modest train what's wrong with my bandager where's this guy going why can't you just go okay what's happened is it my bends is it this little drop over here you can't it's just a staircase of course you oh oh okay okay well we will fix that but it seems to be working anyhow because they reverse in reverse out i i i, I like trains i like trains doesn't matter what it is it seems to be working train wise might not be the prettiest train i've seen they do have amazing sound effects though so so it's a win but can we change those by like somehow like jesus 1080 passengers that's a crowded day if that's gonna be filled up okay so we got one line let them be let them be uh now let's go back in we're gonna change the color to maybe blue light blue cyan beautiful beautiful and this one is gonna be there we go this one will be going dang it do i need to do this every single time maybe we don't have to disable every single one thing of those but we kind of do because it's super annoying seeing all the all the other bits and bobs I, I, like i'm still thinking that this will not work then it goes over here bada beam bada boom it goes to this guy that guy is that the correct guys i think so and then it goes down here like this stops on on that guy we could maybe even add one on the on the way here somewhere about goes into those guys into oh, that guy that guy and the final guy the final boss bam it's done so now we just need to figure eight i'm not sure that is gonna work though this figure eight uh, line but we'll see i've spent so much time making those beautiful bends and curvature and you can't even handle a staircase stops on this track goes to this track and this track and back and finishes here so what this means is that it should be a figure eight so it goes like that goes over here goes all the way down over here and completes the line and are they pink Phew! Well, purple, magenta, pink. I'm sorry. I've made so perfect banditure and you just don't like it. But but that is the plan. That is the plan. Ladies and gentlemen, let me see here. Can we see? Is anybody using the, 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 the subway for the moment? 67 people. Almost 69. Let me see if I speed this up. We're gonna keep track of this for a moment. 
because I mean we just added them like five minutes ago. So so we'll see if anybody's gonna be using those. And look up the jumbo. Okay. So straight off. This is not bad. It might actually be working. We also would need I love the sound effects when I leave the stations. It kind of like we kind of want want to have one over at the industrial area as well. Can we see the sub? Can we see underneath here? Can I jump down? Can I? No, I can't. I can see people going down and then they disappear. But I do see them down on the platform here. Tons of dogs. Tons of dogs. Like, I don't really get that because they added tons of dogs in the game, but they removed bis bicycles. There, there were bicycles in the previous. Why did they remove that? We do have tons of dogs, though. I mean, there's a lot of people on the main platform. There's no trains to be seen. Not sure what happened to the trains. Okay, here's a train. Stops. People get off. And people get on board. I think... That, that, that this is going to be working. Like, I know it's not the perfect, perfect layout of a subway. But, but it, it is a layout. Huh. Oh, by the way, did we have any upgrades on those guys? Let me see here. We do have upgrades. What is this? Station services, small shops, restaurants, kiosks for passenger convenience. Yes, please. Added. We won't be able to see them, but we are paying for something. Crappy service. And which else should we... I guess every single one of them will be upgraded eventually. This one over here. Yes, please. That's just outside the, the, the school over here. But look at this. I'm loving this. Like... It... It... it, it, it I don't know. It's a, it's a very derpy let's play of, of the game. But, but, but I, can, I can spend so much time doing absolutely nothing. And looking at stuff, okay, that my, this ain't popular, but I will upgrade this because obviously this is just outside of the, the, the university. So a little bit of shoppies and such might be needed. Let's upgrade this guy as well, because why not? That's just outside the train station. I think this might ease the whole public transportation, but I think what we'll, we will have to do one day is overhaul everything. Like the buses needs to be tweaked and changed. Everything needs to be changed. Uh, yeah, you guys complaining about... Right. Let's add a few of those. So while we wait to see the statistics from... What you're going to call it? From the from the subway. Let's get a few extra low-rent houses over here. And I'm going to try to zone out them a little bit nicer. Or nicely. Like this, maybe. And then we have a little bit of a smaller one. And then we're going to have some paths in between. Maybe some bushes. Just a little tiny bush here. Which is going to grow up to become something beautiful in the, in the future. And maybe even an elder. Can I squeeze that in? No. A birch? Birch is, birch is a thing. Birch is a thing. Wham, wham, wham. Wham, wham, wham. There we go. And, okay. So we've been playing for quite, quite some time. Pretty much a day in game. How does that look with the subways? It's, it's not bad. So line number two has... 467, 490, and 322. 25, I mean. And it's getting nighttime, so those numbers are gonna go go down quite 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 uh, quite drastically. Because of nights. Ooh whoa! Slideshow. But, but look at those guys! It was one of those, you know, like the little like uh high no what you call them? Like the little jumpy things which you see. The Americans have those, right? Or like like hydraulics maybe not maybe, maybe that was not, not maybe that was not an intentional feature no it is maybe that look at that that guy does the same or maybe not maybe that's not hydraulics holy <laughs> smokes look at this no way so we uh, okay like, I want to end on a bombshell. And this might be the bombshell. I, I believe that we have made something very successful. And that is the subway system. Just envision this being added to the industrial zone as well. 
Oh, let me do this. Options, gameplay, day and night visuals. We might not see anything. I would say that we have succeeded making a buzzing city. Or at least a buzzing subway system, which brings people to the train station, where hopefully they will disappear. Not, not like disappear, disappear, but, but look at the, all those guys standing waiting here. But hands down, isn't this super atmospherical? Just seeing, like, hopefully YouTube doesn't destroy the video quality too much. Because it is, it is really beautiful. But yeah, revamping the buses might be a thing. There's not a lot of people waiting. Early morning has just broken. It's 8 a.m. People going to work. 1100, 600, and 230. Like, I'm, I'm super happy. We just need to keep attention so it doesn't really get too crowded over here. Or pay attention to that. But other than that, like, I, like I'm thinking, like, if we had subway stations over at the, at the industrial district, that means that people can take a subway from, from here, for example, and go all the way to the industrial district to work without even having to go out over here, take the train, and go to work. So, like, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited to see if this works or not. Like, I don't mind seeing those guys all over the place because I think this is, like, super atmospherical. But also a little bit framey. And how about over here? Might have not been a lot of progress, but we've got subways in the city. Which is not the greatest subway, uh, subway layout, but it will have to work for the moment. Like, if it's being used, I will be happy, okay? But let me just see here. So if we just drop down... It, it's a thing. It's my thing, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you so much for watching today's episode of City Skylines 2 with me, Kralis, and I will see you guys in a day or two, hopefully, with the next one. Early morning has broken. Like, wh 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 why are you blocking everybody? You a-holes. Don't do that. Yeah, I said, did I say goodbyes? I think I said goodbyes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in a, in a day or two. Slideshow, slideshow. But it's working. We've got the subway system up and running. Ha! Bye, everybody.